In today's Procreate tutorial, I will show you how to draw a realistic choco pie in just a few easy steps using my custom texture brushes. You can get all tutorial files below the video. And now, if you are ready, let's get started. I already created a canvas that has the dimensions of 2K by 2.5K pixels. If you'd like to use the same brush sizes as me and get a similar result, make sure your canvas is the same. In today's tutorial bundle, there is a set of brand new texture brushes that I made specially for this drawing. And of course I prepared a color palette for you. All files are free to download in the video description below. If you enjoy learning Procreate with my free YouTube tutorials and want to develop your drawing skills even more, make sure to check out my Patreon page where I share exclusive video tutorials every week. You will find hundreds of premium brushes there too. The link to my Patreon can be found below this video. With that being said, let's begin drawing. Choco pie is actually a cake that has a few layers, two biscuits and marshmallow between. And then everything is covered by chocolate glaze. I want to start with the chocolate part. As the base color for it, let me select color 3. And then for drawing, I will go to calligraphy and grab monoline. Just set the size to 10% and draw a novel with an angle. Going like this. If you stop and hold on a second, quick shape tool will work and we will get a perfect ellipse. Now if you click edit ellipse, we can edit it. I will just change the angle a little. Now let's create something resembling a mushroom's head. So I will start drawing another oval inside this one to get this. Let me also edit it. Then we can fill this part on top and remove the one at the bottom. I will just go to selection and use it in freehand. Outline this part. Then tap here, swipe three fingers down and click cut. Now we can use the razor to fix the tips. And also add a few imperfections using liquify. I will set it to push mode, activate pressure, but remove distortion and momentum. Changing the brush sizes, I will be pushing it to different sides. Make the edge a bit curvy. We can also do the same on top. Just a little bit. Alright, now this one is ready. We can add the chocolate texture. So now from the choco pie set, I will grab chocolate glaze. Also select color 9. Let's also create a new layer. Set it to multiply mode and clip. This way we will keep the texture inside. Let me just rotate the canvas, so the shape goes vertical. It is because the brush is screen oriented. The size doesn't matter here, because it is in texturized mode. We just need to apply the texture. With one stroke. Then go to adjustments and grab liquify. Let's make it follow the shape. It is still in push mode. I will just start pushing it. So it will go down on this side. Also on this one. We can push it a little up here. 
In short, it needs to look natural. With all the curves. Let me just push it a bit down here on this side. And now we can keep shading it. Let's just quickly quickify. And then create a layer between these two. So we can add a few more colors. Let's start with number 4. And also select soft brush from airbrushing section. Let me adjust the size. And apply this color on the right half. So due to the blending mode that the texture has, it'll get dark. Let's also make a stroke on the top side. Like this. Also we can add a light spot here on the left with color 5. I will just draw this way. Now we can create one more layer to add a couple more colors. But actually before doing that, let's go to the layer with the texture, grab a razor and remove it from the left side, like this. We just don't need it here, because this edge will be highlighted and the texture won't be seen. Now let's go to the new layer and select color 6. I will lower the size of the brush and just make a stroke here. After that select color 7. And put it this way. We can actually continue using this color and get the right edge even darker by making another stroke. Maybe another one here. After that I will create a layer on top of all layers. Also get it clipped. And in the blending modes, I will pick soft light. Just add an extra color. It'll be number 10. Let's put it here close to the edge. Go a little upper. And highlight it. This way. Add another light spot on this side. So it'll get more brown. Something between brown and orange, actually. Ok. Now I like how it looks. Maybe we can just add the final highlight. Let me create another layer. On top of this one. Also clip it. And I think we can even use the same color. Or try to select 21. Just lower the size. And put reflected light here on the right. And here we can make it lighter. With color 10. Just put it this way. Now we can merge all these layers and just create one more. So we can work on this edge and add some thickness. We can also clip it. Let's switch to color foam and also medium hard air brush. 
draw a line parallel to the edge. It will go to this side. It doesn't have to be perfect. Let's make it a bit curvy at some points. Then continue going down. And finish the line here. Now we can also shade it a little and add some texture. We can actually start with the texture. If we now create a layer and clip it, it will be applied to the entire shape, but we need to put it only on this line. So we can just do this. Go to the layer with the line, tap on it and get it selected as well. We already did it before. There is no color fill option. We just need to go back here, set it to soft light mode and also pick color from the background. Let's now go to select the texture from the choco pie set. It will be sponge cake texture too. The size is set to 11% and I will start drawing. Like this. We can keep the selection and create a layer between these two. Now we can shade the lower part of it with color 6. Just go back to the previous brush. It was medium hard air brush. We can make the size bigger. And start making strokes at the lower edge. Move to the right. Let's darken this side. I will also paint on top of this one a little bit. And we can also highlight it with color number 3. I will just make the size smaller. And then add a highlight on top of the shape. Okay. Now we can remove the selection after it is ready and we will get this. I will merge these layers now, create another one on top of it and set it to add. It will be the last layer for the chocolate. I want to emphasize the light in some of the parts. So I will select white color again. Let me just check the brush, it is medium hard air brush still. We just need to make the size low. It may be also lower the opacity a little bit. With very low pressure, I will start to draw on some white parts. So they start to glow as if they are reflecting the light. Let's put a few on this side. Maybe add another highlight along this line.
I'm working with low pressure here. Just stop when you think it is enough. You don't have to outline them all. Maybe just another one here. And that's it. Ok, finally let's merge these layers. And create another layer below. This is where we will draw the first biscuit. Let's grab this yellow color number 11 for the base color. Also go to Ink Inset. And pick Ink Bleed. We need to draw an arc parallel to this one. With the size set to around 40%. So I will draw it this way. And close the edge on top. So we will be able to fill it. Let me just use Liquify to push and match it. And then I will also switch to crystals. Adjust the size and work a little bit on this edge. To add these imperfections and make it look more textured. Alright, I think it will be enough. Now let's apply the first layer with the texture. For that we need to create a layer on top of this one. And clip. Let's set it to multiply mode right away. And also select color 12. Now we only need to select the texture for it. From Choco Pie set. This one is called Sponge Cake Texture 1. Let's just make a stroke. Then click on the arrow. I will remove magnetics. Scale the texture. And move it to find the best position. You can also rotate it if you like. I like this one. Now we need to create one more layer. Clip it as well. And this time set it to screen. Also grab light color number 13. And change the brush to the next one. It's called sponge cake texture too. Let's now make the size bigger here. At around 50%. And start making strokes. When the texture is ready, we only need to add the shadow around it. For that we will need one more layer, or maybe two. So let me create the first one. Clip it as well. Set to multiply. And change the color into number 14. Let's now switch to soft brush from airbrushing. And start drawing around the edges. I will first apply it on top. Move to the right side. Shade this side like this. We can just make it a bit wider. But still not very wide. Then I will also put it here. On the left. Now we only need to draw at the bottom. Now to get even a darker color, we can create one more layer. Above this one. 
then clip it, set to multiply, and just use the same color. I want to make the lower side slightly darker, so I will just paint more here. And after this stroke, I will go to liquify and use it in crystals again. Maybe just make the size slightly bigger. And make more strokes. The texture will go a little up, but it actually depends on the direction. How you move the brush. So we will get this result. If you think it is too dark, just go to Hue Saturation Brightness and increase the brightness a little bit. Also play around with saturation. Like this. Now when the first biscuit is ready, we can merge all the layers for it. And then create one more layer. We also need to drag it down under this layer. Pick color 15 is the base color. And to draw on the sides, we need to select monoline, because it will touch only chocolate. So we will draw two arcs like this. Another one from here. And since at the lower side it will be contacting with biscuit, we better switch to another brush. It will be ink bleed. We just need to draw a line parallel to this edge. Let's also close the invisible part that is hidden and try to fill it. Let me adjust this one a little bit. I will just push it. Just to make it more round. So you can always use this tool. To adjust any shapes. And now let's work on the lower edge a bit more. By switching to crystals. I will adjust the size. And we can actually try to make circles, instead of just drawing a line. Ok. I think we can now do this. Go to the second layer, duplicate it, and put one of them under the marshmallow layer. Now we can also drag it this way. And after that create a layer above, so we can add chocolate on the sides. For the base color, this time I will select color 19. And we need to use the brush that is soft. So it can be monoline. Let's imagine we are continuing marshmallow. And then also drawing another layer of biscuit. So it may start from here. Let's make a shape this way. Then we need to connect it. And try to fill. Let me just make a couple adjustments. Alright, and now let's also draw on the left side. Here it may start from this point, go to marshmallow, and also to the biscuit. We can get perfect lines if we wait. So a quick shape tool will be activated. Let's just draw an arc here, then one more, and 
and also connect. Let's feel them and see if they need any adjustments. Let me try to use liquify and push. It's my favorite option. Let me just fix all these shapes. Then go to the layer with the marshmallow and fix it too. Okay, now I think it looks fine. We only need to add textures to the marshmallow part and shade the chocolate on the sides. I think we can finish the marshmallow first. So I will create a layer on top of it. Add a clipping mask and apply a few colors. Let's start with color 16. In the choco pie set, I will pick marshmallow texture. It works like this. We need to set it to the full size and just tap a couple of times. Now that it got slightly textured, we can select color 17. And tap in the center. Maybe also here. In the end we can select 18th color. Maybe make the size slightly smaller. And tap on the tips. Now it is also ready. Now when it is ready, we can merge these two layers and work on the lower side a bit more. I just want to reveal the biscuit texture with the shadow. So I will switch to crystals in liquify. And start making these strokes. Right after that, I will go to the layer with the texture, it's this one, just add another one on top of it, clip it, set it to multiply, and select this orangey color 14 that we use to create shadows. Let's just darken it a bit more with a soft brush because there will be a shadow that comes from the marshmallow. So we can show it. Let's also go to the right side. And now I think it is fine. Let's finish the chocolate part on the sides. And then see what else we need to adjust. I will keep all the layers for now. Just go to this layer with the chocolate and create another one on top of it. Then we need to clip it. Let's now select color 20 and apply it on the right side using soft brush. Then grab a razor, set it to medium hardware brush Lower the brush size and erase it like this. It will also go down here. And it is done. We only need to add the highlight. So let's select color 21 again. Go back to brush, 
I will adjust the brush size and add a highlight here at the lower side. It will work as a reflected light. Now let's make the size a bit smaller and also put the color here on the small part. Like this. I think we can smudge it a little bit. And now it is ready. Let's work on the left side. I will stay on the same layer. And here we will apply a few colors. Let's start with the dark one. It will be number 22. I will increase the size a little and put a shadow here between the two layers of cake. Let's also apply to the lower side. And with a smaller size, make another stroke between these two. Let me make this one a bit wider. After that I will lower the size. Apply more pressure to darken this side. Like this. So we can show the thickness. Now that we have the shadows, let's also add some highlights. I will start with color 4. Let's put it here first. Then in the center of this one. And also on the edge. So it will get some dimension. In the end I will select color 3. Lower the brush size. It needs to be very low. And I will put a line here. Right on the dark part. We can also add more highlights on this. Also here. Here I'm applying low pressure. And after we did that, we just need to highlight the edge. So we can continue this line. And then it'll go down. Let's finish this one at the bottom. can press even more. And now the side is ready too. We only need to add the background. We can definitely merge all the layers for the choco pie. Create another one. And drag it down. Let's select the first color. And drop it on the canvas. We can actually stay right here. Just pick the next color. Keep using soft brush. Might make it a big size. We can apply this color on top. To add a subtle gradient. I will just paint more here in this corner, so it goes diagonal.
let's also try to add the shadow. And to do it easily, we can duplicate the layer with the cake. Go to this one, half a lock it, then tap on it again and fill it with the selected color. Let's try to set it to multiply mode. Remove alpha look and apply Gaussian blur. I will set it to 25% and then move it a bit to the right and down. Now after this final step, our choco pie is ready. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please support my channel by giving this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified about new videos. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon!